For the last 21 years, Darren Bryan has amazed millions with his mind-blowing TV and stage shows. He also is a best-selling author and his latest release, A Book of Secrets, is out very soon and he joins us this morning. Good morning, Darren. Thank you for joining us. I've got the book right in front of me, A Book of Secrets. And it's a very personal book with a lot of uh, your own experiences in it and I believe lockdown kind of allowed you to focus on what you really wanted this book to be. <laughs> yeah well I, it's always I'm very interested in how we navigate through a world that is difficult and complex and it doesn't always conform to our wishes um, no matter how optimistically we you know set our goals and believe in ourselves and so on because the trouble I think with that that optimistic mantra is that when it lets us down and we face tough periods, which, you know, of course we do, we, you know, can feel it must be our fault. And then we've got a feeling of failure maybe to add to a, to a list of, of problems already. So in this book, I write about how we can make peace with a, with a stubborn and difficult world. And then through that, find uh, places for compassion and, and kindness. And, um, and yeah, the sort of, you know, the difficulties of, of, of lockdown were a, a good place to explore all of that. that. Of course, and you, you try to, to explore a very interesting concept of that when you are alone, you are quite often very much connected to others in that moment, but you certainly don't feel it. Yeah, well, actually lockdown was a, a very kind of literal demonstration of this. So um, life, I think, is sort of centripetal, like it pulls us to difficult centre points. Um, and when we're in those places, it does tend to feel very isolating and, and we can feel lonely and disconnected and panicky and so on but the the interesting thing is is that it's like at those times we are experiencing like the real the weight of life like the actual the human condition so it is it is the one thing that connects us yeah. to everybody else if we just lean into it a little a little differently um and it sort of takes the it takes the sting out of it i, I think basically we sort of live a life where we've got all these Forces pulling us one way of our aims and the things we want to achieve. And then there's forces pulling us the other way, which are like just stuff that life throws back at us, what they used to call fortune. And we actually live a kind of diagonal line between the two. And we kind of meander along that diagonal line. And sometimes we're on top and things are going great. And, you know, other times it's not like that. And making our peace with that meandering line, I think, is the key. And that's kind of what I like writing about. I wrote a book on stoicism a few years ago, um, which I think is great, but doesn't have a lot to say about kindness. So this is a kind of um, taking those ideas more into more into that world. But I think it's about making making peace with sitting differently with anxiety and suffering and so on and mm -hmm. thinking differently about those things. And, and you talk about turning 50 and how really it was a chance to reevaluate re your own life and what the next chapter was going to be. This is really for David Walliams, of course, but um, yes. <laughs> Uh, so there is there is a thing that happens in midlife. So that's like a good example of of an area that's like difficult and uh, bewildering for a lot of people. It's basically like another adolescence. But we all know about adolescence because we've all been through it. So we sort of, you know, we don't really make fun of adolescence in the same way we make fun of people as they're going through middle age. So I think having a kind of uh, a sort of a map for it is is really helpful. And essentially what it's about, I think there's a shift First half of life is very much about our dialogue with the world and where we stand in it and what our status is and what, what we should or shouldn't be doing. And it's all to do with how we stand in the world. And then a shift happens, or I think should happen or behoves us to happen in the second half of the world uh, of life where we turn that dialogue inwards and it becomes about how we, how we sit with ourselves and leaning into the things that bring us joy and meaning and so on. And then finding ways and what we should be doing. Like if it wasn't for all the bad messages that we've got since the start from other people's agendas, what should we be doing with our lives? And then finding ways of bringing those sort of gently uh, into our relationships rather than, you know, breaking them and running off with someone younger and buying the fast car. Actually, how we bring those meaningful things slowly back into the relationships that we that we have. So, yeah, I think that's a good example of a, of a difficult area that I think we can do with a little bit of... Uh, help through. A bit of fine tuning, exactly, Darren. Um, I know you love writing, it's a huge passion of yours, but also being up on stage and, and having that big live audience back again is another passion. And you are back on tour, we can see you again. It's been a few years since you've done this. I know, so Showman is the new show, and it was going to start the day that the first lockdown began, literally that first day. So we had to cancel it, and then 
We tried to put it on again, and then that couldn't work because of COVID, so it came off. And now, finally, yeah, it's it's um, it's it's been a couple of years. The last show I did was uh, in Broadway in New York, so it's been a little while since I've done a brand new show here. I think it's like five or six years, um, and it's so sort of bizarre and amazing to imagine actually being back on the road, like you know, with crowds of people and just doing a show. And there I am with uh, one of my directors, Andy Nyman, with his enormous glasses. Um, so yeah, it's really exciting. I, <laughs> As I always, wait. I'm guessing, Darren, you're not going to tell us very, very much about what's in the show. <laughs> secrets, more secrets, but it's um, a lot of audience participation. I throw frisbees out to choose people. So if you don't want to join in, that's fine. You pass the frisbee on, there's no pressure. Um, but it's, it's also, again, a show about, I think, the things that bring us together and, uh, and you know, I try and make the shows about the audience. That's always been important to me. So they're not, they're not about me. I'm not that interesting. It's a show about, about, about the audience and it's about what you kind of go through there and your, 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 your own experience, which is kind of my toolbox. And I've always, I've always felt that the stage is a, is a great place for that. It's different on... TV, you never really know, you know, the reality of what you're seeing, but stage where you can get involved or the person next to you or whatever, and you're seeing every element of it, I think is, is the best place for it. I, I do, I do love it. It's powerful, isn't it? Darren, thank you. It'll be great to have you back out on the road um, at the end of August, of course, and the book, A Book of Secrets, is out on the 2nd of September. Thanks so much, Darren. It's great to see you this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.